Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to create our artifact. So now what we need to do is we're going to add a success step. So we have a step that is post build and it should always run. Okay. We need a step that only runs on success. I'm going to just copy over here. So what we're doing, we're seeding into our work base. Let's verify that the folder actually does exist. Yep, there you go. Here's our build. Let's go back. So as we're in this folder, we want to clear out any previous artifacts, or in fact, the only file that might be there. And then we want to zip up everything excluding the node modules even though in this application we do not have any node modules i just wanted to show you that this is how it's done so dash x stands for excluding so let's see if it works artifact generation step edit so let's head back to jenkins and start a new build what we're expecting to see is a new artifact file generated in the workspace folder Okay, zip command is not found. Well, that's fair. Let's install that. Okay, so now we should have zip command available in our machine. I'm leaving these tiny mistakes in the video on purpose because you're gonna encounter them yourself when you do this. It's normal, natural. Something is not installed, that's all fine. You just go ahead and install it. So let's see what happens now. Okay, you can see that zipping is actually running. So it's adding all this file into your zip file. Success. So let's verify the file is there and sure enough we have a artifact.zip file in the next video we're going to copy this artifact file onto the server we'll also install some packages and then deflate this artifact file on the server and therefore it can be served by the web server i'll see you in the next video